something for my guys on live and Lil Durk and Kareem. Man, you coming at me for my music, but you listen to this old stuff. Old stuff? What? You better get up out of here with all that pockets of truth. Well, I got a boyfriend. Yeah, I heard, but it's all good. Really? We've been together our whole lives, so we got time. Really, congratulations for the film. Uh, this is my. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm oh, you're totally fine. You're totally fine. <laughs> Yeah, so with this such a crazy period of time, and you are showing this film, especially in Chicago, and yeah. where everything has happened uh, with one deck uh, trial just happened. So with all of this, what voice do you think need to be heard? I just want the audience to be able to have a conversation with each other, you know, be able to talk, and be able to understand what what is some of the issues we have, understanding that our our cultures and our experiences are different and we got to respect and honor that. We all here as one unified whole. For Star, she goes to the idea of police brutality and dealing with racism. Um, she's a person who does have a white boyfriend and she does witness a shooting, but we see her how she comes out of that and challenge those around her so we can be able to treat one another and heal better. Yeah, very nice. So I just noticed that uh, for the first letter of like the hate you give is actually thug. Like, um, yes. have, have you actually intentionally put that way? Um, yeah, the author uh, really loved Tupac. And Tupac is 1992, 93. He came up with that, you know, those uh, that belief and that philosophy. And it's so true, and that's what it's sort of explored through the movie, is that we got to give hate. Instead of giving hate, we got to give love to one another. If you give love, love will come back. And I think that's the key, and that's what Star finds. Why did the cop, why is so much police brutality out here? Why is, you know, why is all these things happening? And I think we need to listen to one another and have that understanding more. So this is originally from the book, and how is it being altered from the book to the movie? And how did you make it into your vision? I think what, how it altered from the book was really, I love to get, I love having the writer involved, like Angie Thomas who wrote the book. I had her here very early on for the earlier drafts. And um, what we really did, what I wanted to do is really stay close to the truth and close to the spirit of the book. Because so many people, the book was number one for like 80 weeks. And I really wanted to come close. There was one character we took out, moved a few things around. But really, it's really just, I really try to stay close into that dynamic of that family and make sure that family really stood out. All right, this is my camera. So I really dig your style, girl. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So your role in this film is really interesting. So what are you really excited about exploring your role in this film? Um, what I was most excited about exploring was um, the experience of code switching or having to present yourself differently depending on the space that you're inhabiting. And so I think you kind of get to see that in this character and also just see her find her power in her voice. I think that was really like really kind of grabbed my heart when I first read it. Very nice. So in the day and age, there are so many activism going on. Do you think being an activist in the modern days is necessary? Yeah, I think it is necessary. I mean, I think when you have a platform and you're like given the gift of being able to reach a lot of people, it's kind of your responsibility to use that as, as well as you can. And so that's why I try to kind of integrate the things that I care about with my artistry. I ain't named you star by accident.